Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex from Epri.io and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own personal checklist application using Epri.io template. All of our templates are ready to go and do not require any additional effort. So let's launch it right away and see what this application is all about. Once the application is loaded, the first screen you'll see is the task board. Currently, it does not have any tasks for today. So let's start with creating one. The create new task window consists of title, description and reminder time. It is only required to insert a title, so once you've added it, the button becomes enabled. But let's also add description and reminder time. So now, when your task is added, there are multiple things you can do with it. It can be marked as done, the task will be crossed out, and the set task reminder will not be received. In case you changed your mind and still want to be notified at the set time, you can uncheck it back. You can also swipe right if you want to either set or change the time of the reminder. And swipe left if you want to delete the task completely. Just confirm the action and the task will be excluded from your board. You can also create tasks for the future dates. Select any needed date from the current month or select a different month and year. And now for the newly selected date, you can create a new task. And now let's check out the settings page. Here you have three sections. The first one is the dark theme. Switching it on would turn on the dark mode. Reminder switcher is for enabling and disabling notifications. If this one is turned off, you won't receive any notifications from this application. And the last one is time format. It can be either 12 hours or 24 hours, and it will affect the reminder time. And that's it for the checklist application. But now let's go back to the visual editor and review how you can customize the application. On the left side, you can see the project tab that includes multiple folders. Opening the pages folder will allow you to customize each page individually. The first thing you might want to do is change text. Not only you can change the name of the application, but you can change any text in the template. In order to do so, click on the text that you want to change and navigate to the right panel. Here you can find the text section in which you can set any needed text. The second thing you might want to change is the background image. Each template has default images, but you can use any other images that you would like. In order to change the image, click on it and click change button on the panel on the right. Here you can either select one of the available images or upload the file from your PC. Once the image is uploaded, select it and click apply to replace the current image with the selected one. Now let's quickly go back and select the default image. The next thing you can change is the colors of the application. You can change the color of each element individually, but there's also a better way to change templates colors. Each template has its own unique design. It also has themes. Over here you can see a theme dropdown. Selecting one of the options from the dropdown will allow you to see how this specific page will look like under a different theme. In order to apply the theme to the entire application, expand the project folder, select App Settings and choose the needed theme from the dropdown. Now we can click Test and see how the application looks like with the newly selected theme. The last thing you might want to do is to export your application and try it on your own device. You can do that through an export feature where you can select either Android or an iPhone format. Let's select .ipa. As you can see, the application started building the IPA. Please note that for the successful app export, you need to first import the certificates. Here in the app settings, iOS binary, and distribution certificate and provisioning profile sections. Once your project is generated, you will see the QR code that you can use to easily upload your application to your device. To learn more about how to export your application, including iOS and Android certificates, please follow the link in the description. And in the end, let's review how this application will look like on a real device. Let's add a new task and set reminder time to be in one minute. And these are just a few ways how you can customize and work with the template. To learn more about the Apri.io platform and its features, visit our website or find more videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and happy developing!